In today's tutorial, we are going to create a 3D animation with the help of a free tool named Deep Motion. And we will also use Canva free account and ChatGPT to create the final video. So it should be a lot of fun. If you're ready, let's begin. Step one, Deep Motion, sign up. First go to deepmotion.com, link in the description below. Go to the sign up section and give your credential and go get started. In your mail ID, there will be a mail sent to you. So with that, you'll have to sign in and go to portal. Let's create the 3D model first. Go to animate 3D. You can check the tutorial by get started or skip it. Then go to 3D model option. And here for the sake of this video, we are using stylized avatars. Let it upload and then select your avatar type. You can give your own picture or else you can go ahead without picture. Here you can choose your avatar and go next. Here you can do different type of modifications starting from face cutting to hairstyle to dress or any other aspect of the avatar. Once you're satisfied with the feature and look, go to the next option at the top right hand side corner. Here you go without sign up and give the name and save it. Let's create the 3D animation now. And now go to create animation option. Here you'll have to drag and drop a file in which pose or in which action you want your avatar to do the work. So I have downloaded a running video from Canva so you can cut or trim or crop the main video from here and once done then you can go to video output option, enable the mp4 output, background should be solid, give it a solid green background so that you can easily remove it. You can enable or disable mp4 audio and shadow, camera mode should be cinematic. Once all these modifications are done correctly, then go to create. Now it will get downloaded in a while. Now go to OK. And this is how you can check how the animation has come. You can change the speed from here, increase or decrease it. And finally, download in MP4 format and go to download. So it will get downloaded in your device. And this is how the final product looks like. Let us move to the storyline creation by ChatGPT. Go to chat.openai.com and create a storyline. And once it is made, you just need to copy the entire storyline. Let us create the voiceover. For that, we will go to Prime Voice AI, this 11 lab software, and just paste the text or the story which you have just copied. If you sign in, then your word limit increases. So you can just paste it here and you can choose your voice artist from here. And then you can go to download. It will automatically get downloaded in your device. Now let us create the final video with free Canva account. You will be using one pro feature so you can get 30 days free trial link in the description. Once you open Canva video, then you just need to bring or upload your audios and videos. So go to upload file section and upload all your videos and audios what you have created. Once these are done, this will be coming in video and audio section respectively. Then next you go to elements and you can go for animation keyword to get some nice animated video backgrounds. So I'll take this one for the sake of this video and then right click and set it as background. Now go back to upload section and just select the video which we have just downloaded. Then go to edit video option and we are using one pro feature background remover. Then you can just crop and trim and check how the video is looking. But the only problem is the video is running in the same place. So therefore we'll go to animation and create an animation option. Where we will be just dragging the object from one corner to other like so. And 
and once it is done then we will have to go to smooth option and increase the speed likewise now you can see the object is moving forward along with the gesture so once it is done then go to done option and you can add scene by scene by clicking on plus icon once this is done you just bring the voice over so just go to audio section and drag and drop the voice over make sure the cursor is at the beginning or the playhead is at the beginning and you can adjust further the playback speed from this option you can increase or decrease it You can check and then you can further do other transition by going to the transition option in between two slides and use different type of transitions, increase or decrease the duration. And then if you want to change the volume of the audio, then you can go to this option and change the volume. By audio effect option, you can give a subtle fade in and fade out. Finally, once you're ready, you can go to the share option and download in MP4 format. Well, before showing you the final project, I would like to tell you that I have used two more softwares. One is Lexica.io and another is Leopix.com. So for these, I have already created another video, detailed video, which you'll be getting at the I button of this video and towards the end of this video as well you will also get the same link in the description box i would strongly encourage you to go and watch that animation video and for now let us see the final project in a remote village nestled amidst lush greenery lived a brave girl named maya one sunny afternoon as the villagers gathered near the river laughter filled the air until a bone chilling roar shattered their joy <laughs> A ferocious tiger emerged, its eyes fixated on a terrified child. Fear gripped everyone, but not Maya. Summoning courage, she sprang into action. With swift steps and unwavering determination, she charged towards the tiger, distracting it with her piercing scream. The villagers watched in awe as Maya fearlessly faced the beast, rescuing the child. Her bravery echoed through the village, forever etching her name in the hearts of all who witnessed her heroic act. So if you like this tutorial, please, please, please do give me a like and please do share my content with your friends and family. Friends, to bring such free tutorial, it takes a lot of patience, perseverance and practice. Therefore, I would request you to please subscribe to my channel and leave your comment below so that I get to know you better. Thank you so very much for staying here with me. I'll come back with some fun tutorial next week. Till then, stay safe and stay in a dream.